Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is James, and the Combat Knife can be one of the toughest weapons to get gold camo for in Call of Duty Black Ops 2, especially since you have to get the Combat Knife gold in order to get your diamond specials. Now with that being said, the Combat Knife can take days to get gold, or you can get it done within a few hours. Now I've compiled a few tricks and stuff that help me along with a few classes that also help me to get challenges. I'm going to be breaking down and going through all the challenges to help you all get your gold camo for the Combat Knife. I'll be going through all the challenges, pretty much breaking down everything, playstyles, classes, maps, and everything you're going to need to know in order to get the Combat Knife gold. Now up to Cryptek Typhoon Camo, you're going to have to get 200 kills with the Combat Knife. This can be complicated, but I have made a class that makes it really easy to not only get streaks with the Combat Knife, but also get larger kills. I made sure to use Ghost and Lightweight to stay off the radar, and I also put Tactical Mass and Extreme Conditioning for long sprinting distance along with the Concussions. Make sure to use the Concussions, I paired that up with Fast Hands so you can easily throw the Concussions before you knife the enemy. Now with that being said, I also put on a Riot Shield, it is just an optional thing. I actually enjoyed the Riot Shield, it helped me out a lot. Now I can't even stress how helpful the Assault Shield was when going for the Bloodthirsties for me because the Assault Shield helps you from getting fire from behind, so if you are getting shot at from behind, it'll actually just hit the shield instead of hitting you, it'll actually end up helping you out in a lot of sticky situations, and when you're trying to escape from enemies when they're all coming at you and you realize there's no way you're going to be able to kill them, you can run away cleanly without having to worry about getting shot from behind. Now that leads me to maps. When choosing maps for this game, make sure to choose wisely. I definitely recommend playing Nuketown as much as possible, especially for some of the Bloodthirsties, staying up close and personal with the enemy is going to have to be a requirement. It also helps to kind of stay back and definitely play a little bit more campy. I'm not recommending just sitting in one spot the whole time, but if you are trying to get longer streaks with this gun, playing campy will definitely help you out. If you do know there's going to be a double XP weekend coming up, you'll most likely be having Nuketown 2025 24-7, which is a great time to get your double XP and also to get that combat knife gold. In order to get the combat knife gold, you're going to have to stay to smaller maps, and Nuketown 2025 24-7 is perfect for that. You get a variety of game modes and stuff as Demolition and Domination, especially playing with other members on your team, can definitely help you out getting those streaks and requirements for the gold camo way faster. Now the Art of War camo, which is 5 Revenge Medals, the Carbon Fiber camo, Camo, which is 10 backstabber medals and the cherry blossom camo which is five survival medals will eventually come over time so there's no need in specifically playing for these certain medals so i definitely recommend playing for the ronin camo which is killing five enemies picking up their weapon and killing them again with it this is something that might take a little bit of work to play for, but it can definitely be rewarding and can be done pretty quickly. It made a class and I actually didn't use lightweight on the class. I found myself not needing it. I found myself playing a lot more defensive since I was only going to have to get one kill and then pretty much, like I said, play more defensive, sit back, relax, and wait for the enemy to come to you. I added ghost to this class so you would stay off the radar. I also added toughness because that one gunfight against the enemy is going to be the most important. Now, I did make a video where I did a comparison of running with the combat knife with lightweight and running with extreme conditioning and running without any of them and lightweight didn't actually help too much more in a scenario where you're just using the combat knife i definitely would recommend using lightweight but if in a scenario like this where you are going to be using a gun i definitely substitute lightweight for another perk now if you are wanting to check out the lightweight versus extreme conditioning time comparison and speed trials that'll be down in the description for you guys to check out and last but not least we have the dreaded bloodthirsty medals the five kill streaks that takes so much time to go for now i found myself getting bloodthirsty medals before i actually got the bloodthirsty challenges unlocked and of course once the challenges come it just seems 10 times harder since you're actually going for it now a huge thing with this is to run assault shield you're gonna have to run away from enemies you know try to play it slow try to blend in with the environment play it low key keep calm you know pretty much stay in corners which doesn't sound like a fun thing to do but definitely you are gonna have to play slower it is only five bloodthirsties though and definitely they could be painful five but you know they definitely are rewarding with the gold combat knife it looks awesome and you are gonna have to get the gold combat knife in order to get the diamond specials now when creating the class I wanted to create something that pretty much eliminates all the extra things besides the enemy's gun and the first thing I put on there was engineer so I could see the enemy explosives and also delay the trip of them so I could run to rooms and knife people with out having to worry about the claymore or bouncing betty coming up and killing me extreme conditioning is a necessity along with fast hands in order to throw the shock charges now for my two first tier perks i use flak jacket and lightweight now i understand if you're not playing on nuketown you may want to substitute flak jacket for ghost but I put on flat jacket because, well, Nuketown, we all know, is just grenades spammed over and over again, and that's something we don't want to have to deal with. And that's just definitely a liability, so I definitely would put on flat jacket if you have it unlocked. It will help you more than you think, because trust me, there are grenades, and even though you have the delayed trigger uh, because you're using Engineer on the explosive, grenades, Semtex, C4, you're still vulnerable to that, and that's definitely something you don't want to die from. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to thumbs it up. It definitely helps me out, and I'll see you later.